Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the Shure SM57. Now, if you're starting a microphone collection, whether it be for a studio or for a stage performance, the Shure SM57 should be the first mic to get. Now, we didn't say it should be the first mic to use, but it's a must have. Every mic closet or mic case should have at least four, I mean, that I've seen. You know, in general, the SM57 is a dynamic microphone. It utilizes a cardioid pickup pattern for max gain before feedback, which offers great, what's called off axis rejection. So sounds from the rear of the microphone don't get through so good. Now, although its frequency range is 40 to 15K, its frequency response is actually tailored for guitars, drums, and vocals. But I've seen it used on every instrument that you can think of, both live and studio. The SM57 is designed to get super close to that sound source. Some microphones are designed with a dome grill in front of them like the SM58 that prevents you from getting closer to your sound source. Now, the SM57 is also designed to handle the loudest of sounds, not to mention the roughest of abuse. So I've seen these dropped, stepped on, kicked, and they just keep on working. So it's really rugged. Now, in case you're ever on Jeopardy, one cool thing to know, a little fun fact here, is that the President of the United States, since Lyndon B. Johnson um, was in office, every time they came up to a podium to make a speech and address the nation, two SM57s were right there capturing it all. Now here's a few tips on how to use the SM57 from the MikeReynolds.com team. Now number one, you always want to aim the microphone towards the desired sound source and away from unwanted sources. Figure out what the source is first and then find a happy medium for rejecting those off-axis sounds. Number two, place the microphone as close as practical to the desired sound source. Now, if you use a mic cable with a right angle connector on the end, this gets you into the, some of those really tight spaces, especially like on drum kits. Number three, you wanna work close to the microphone for extra bass response. This is known as the proximity effect. So if I'm micing a guitar amp, my hand being in the front of the speaker, the microphone being this far away, you're not gonna get as much bass. As you get closer, that bass response goes up, and as you drift away, it rolls off. Number four, you only want to use one microphone to pick up a single sound source. Now, this is not referring to using two mics to pick up the top and the bottom of a snare or the in and out of a kick. That's awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. This is talking about using two SM57s to capture the top of a snare. That's the same sound source. Number five, you want to use the fewest microphones as practical. Now, some mics, if placed correctly, can actually pick up other sound sources. Just keep in mind the sounds you want and the sounds you don't want. Number six, you want to place microphones as far as possible from reflective surfaces. This just prevents picking up unwanted reflections. Number seven, you want to add a windscreen when using the microphone outdoors. Mostly recommended for the SM57 because its capsule is super exposed. Number eight, you want to avoid excessive handling of your microphone. This minimizes uh, mechanical noise and especially vibration. So if you're used to tossing the microphone back and forth in your hand, well, you're going to probably pick up a lot of that low rumble sound from the hand movements uh, or the handling. It's not really too much of a concern if your microphone is on a stand, but keep in mind that stand can also vibrate sounds right up into that microphone. Again, that's handling noise. Number nine, you want to avoid covering any part of the microphone grill with your hand, because this can have an adverse effect on the microphone's performance, especially the frequency response. This microphone, especially the SM57, is not the best for, let's say, rap vocals, because that mic is being handled pretty much all the time. And ends up getting covered, the capsule gets covered, so therefore the frequency response is adjusted based upon where the hand is over the grill. Well, that about wraps it up on the Shure SM57. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com. <laughs>